Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Roman Reclamation Campaign. Let's do this. I'm sorry for the uh, brief hiatus I've been ill, but I'm getting better now, so hopefully we'll be able to proceed today. Uh, where were we? Got the Brozdjers, a vassal. That's right, we peacefully vassalized uh, Circassia, I think that's how you say that. Cool. Do definitely want to try and press east towards Trebizond. Wasn't there a plague recently in Trebizond? No, that was in a different campaign, I think. Right, we've got our guys all rented out. Oh, look at that that drill, rather. Fantastic. How's our professionalism in this campaign? Sitting down there at 40%, not too bad. Are you guys drilling? They are. Ideal. Wow, we got a lot of money. Oh, that's right, we just wore the uh, Mamluks, stole their cash, didn't we? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Tarnov, definitely on the list of targets in the immediate future, I think. This... Uh, Good Orthodox land needs to be integrated into the Empire, I think. Also, we'll keep an eye on the uh, er Eretnan... Eret? Eretnian, maybe? <laughs> anyway, we'll keep an eye, around, an eye on Eretna. See if we have any opportunities to weaken them. Their, uh, yeah, their march displeases me. They're only 22% liberty desire. Kanik is uh, relatively desirous of liberty. What about Kandar? Hmm, Kandar would be doable. People were saying we should rush east to get this Orthodox land quick before the Sunni convert it, and I think that is a good point. Uh, Manpower's okay. A lot, a lot lower than the cap right now. Nice loyal estates, that's what I like to see. Very li disloyal lesser nobles. I suspect that's because we're doing lots of demoting. I'm sorry, as ever, you know, when I haven't played for a bit, I need to spend a moment here getting into things. We only have one diplomat. I guess that's our court's trash. Yeah, we have a shabby court. That sucks. And an ongoing religious scandal. Fantastic. Okay. I just said that's pretty good. We are being a bit intolerant. Getting some conversions done. Mm, except we're not. Here in Kissos. Where is Kissos? I apologise if I uh, have to stop talking or cut out for a second. I may well have to mute myself occasionally. If I, uh, if I have a bout of coughing or whatever. Alright, let's get these guys come over here. If we can reduce the unrest, we might be able to get this conversion to go through. I'm really, I recorded the uh, Brandenburg campaign yesterday, and I'm really looking forward to playing this one. What? This pilot is only 17? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well these guys can't stand there. Although I will have them stand there over the monthly tick. Get a bit of drilling in. How many months until we need to cancel this? Just two, okay. Keep a close eye on that. Is two men enough? Probably not, right? <laughs> Yeah, but we can't uh, change the size of this army because it's rinsed out as Condottieri. We just have to wait a bit. There is separatism to tick down. It's mostly the intolerance that's hurting us there. But there we go, a bit of separatism tick down. Is that enough? Let's see. Still not quite. Ah, Bohemia cancelled it. Oh well. Uh, didn't we establish actually that that's not a problem when that happens? I can't remember. Anyone else want to uh, hire Condottieri off me? Wait a second, see if it comes up. No, it doesn't look like there is anyone. Okay. Hey, Moria, why are you so disloyal? What's up, man? Better Diplotech? Yeah, it's a problem. And, of course, adding the other vassals is making that relative power of vassals a bit problematic. Oh, hello. I thought you had to have a free diplomat for that to pop up. Maybe you do. Oh, hello. Opportunity to the north. Well, actually, at war with Tarnov... And, uh, you know, I was just saying, we do have these juicy permanent claims on Tarnov. So now could be an excellent time to go for that. We've got a huge war chest. We've got a reasonable amount of manpower. Could we rival with them at one point? Probably not anymore, right? Yeah. Could rival Hungary. Why have I been resisting rivaling Hungary? Because I was afraid of them, I guess? They're not going to ally the Mamluks, so there's no worries about that. Oh, okay. I had good reason to be afraid of them. <laughs> they have uh, Poland as a junior partner. Jesus. Okay, I forgot that union was still going. Well, I think we rival them anyway. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Set up a bit of an embargo. Great. Oh, by the way, uh, so I was talked a while ago about how it's kind of ridiculous that you get... Uh, uh, war dynamism on all of Hungary as the Ottomans, and I still think that's ridic ridiculous, but someone did point out correctly that, historically speaking, the Turks did take 
not all of this current border of Hungary, but a very sizable chunk of Hungary in one war. They took, uh, I believe the border of Hungary at the time was something like this. And they took like all of this land here. And then this lot went to Austria and this lot went to Transylvania, which I think became an Ottoman client state, but I'm not sure. So, you, you know, historically speaking, things like that did happen. But in a simulation, unless you have a way to simulate that kind of thing all the time, I don't think you should pick a couple of instances and do it just on them. Yeah, that's my piece on these guys. They have 2,000 men. I can't believe we waited this long. We should, of course, seize this land. We're going to get some religious unrest. I think we're going for cultural conversion this campaign, aren't we? I can't recall if I decided whether I was going to try and convert cultures or... Uh, or not. It has to be in a state to be culturally converted. This place is. How are we doing on uh, cultural conversion here? Not made any progress on it yet. Okay. Well, let's move north. Uh, turn on the forts. They won't be able to... Or, no, they could go here and then cross the strait. So let's let's just put the, tr the transport ships in the Sea of Maramara. That will stop them going across. We don't need to turn on these forts. So, Wallachia will hire Kandotiari. I mean, that is that is an option. Oh, this... Uh, There's not even enough supply here. Good lord. Hungary's counter-rivaled us. Yeah, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's insult them a bit, shall we? If they do declare war on us, I think we'll be fine, because Poland is disloyal, although it's pretty close. But, uh, ooh, and it's mostly due to their currently negative dip Diplo rep, which they'll probably get back again at some point. But we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Monasticism, we will not permit anything. Trying to lower that church influence. God, it's so high. Shame that keeps putting our prestige negative. So, well, actually, if you have a huge pile of cash that you're willing to give me, I'm tempted to give you scootage. Sorry, give you scootage. Give you condottieri, but they don't. They give us 0.4 the cost. Nah, it's not worth it then. Uh, we'll split in two. Do we have two generals? We don't. Are we ahead of time on Miltech? We are. But only by four years. Yeah, we can delay getting Miltech. You guys are all... The neighbors are all behind, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take uh, I'll take another general, please. Oh, pretty good. Sorry about the car noise outside, by the way. I have my window wide open because it's boiling here at the moment. Okay. So, are we taking those claims, please? Oh, good point. I should check. How's our aggressive expansion? It's actually zero. Seriously? Okay. I guess we've just been dealing with internal strife for a while. Uh, so we could declare an imperial reconquest. For this one, I think. Yambol. Cool. Zeta and Kiev will get called in. Zeta is not a concern. Kiev. They're not small, but they're not a huge concern. Was this an offensive war against Wallachia? They were offensively attacking Wallachia. I think we'll be fine. Yambol. Don't need to full call either of them. Let's go. Please tell me I made it an Imperial Reconquest. I did. Good. So we'll march in here and very quickly siege down the war goal. And this well actually are taking out some of the... Uh... Wait, this looks like Serbian. That looked like a Serbian flag. Serbia, what are you now these days? They're a vassal of Tarnoff. Oh, okay, fair enough. We will go with... I think we should probably still restrict looting, to be honest. You know, there's some urban areas here. I don't want to damage... Because I want to take them over. So we will go with uh, heavily restricted looting. Plus, gain that extra discipline. Doesn't hurt. We do not have a mill advisor right now. That seems very inadvisable. Oh god. Two out of zero leaders? Oh yeah, that court is really mucking with us. We need to get this up. Let's increase the funding substantially. And give them a stipend. Alright, should hold. Oh, we'll give it a bit of extra. We really need to have the court be uh, not shabby. That lesser... Uh, I didn't realise the second leader was going to put us over our limit. It's mm, annoying, annoying. Oh, actually, we have disorganised military. It's not... Oh, that's what I was doing. <laughs> now I remember. We were trying to get rid of the disorganised military debuff, which we still haven't, because I declared a war. <laughs> and we can't do that yet, can we? Uh, this one. We need an army reformer or an ar army organiser. Darn it. <laughs> That's why we don't have a leader, because we were firing them repeatedly. 
Quartermaster, Grand Captain. And there is an army reformer available. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Uh, we have enough money to hire this guy and make only a slight loss. And I do want to get some more mill points. <clears throat> Not as badly as some others though. Are you a half-off advisor? No, he isn't. I don't think he is. There's one point. Yeah, that's the base. Unless this guy's also half off. I don't think he is, though. Okay, why are we losing on this? Oh, we're mediating a lot, are we? Okay. Probably trying to get rid of some of these lesser nobles. Got lots of privileges. Three, yeah. How about the burgers? Quite a few, yeah. At least they're not the principal court suppliers anymore. Anyway, we'll deal with this war and then we'll get rid of the... Uh, we'll get rid of the debuff afterwards. Oh, Dubrovsky, good point. Do you have any cores? No, they don't. And we're presumably going to get war dynamism on some of this land, I have to imagine. Do we want to let them roam around sieging our vassals over here? Um, I kind of don't care. Well, actually, I want military access. That seems fine. We will go to war with Wallachia relatively soon. Do they have a coring cost in this mod still? Yeah, but it's only 20%. Because obviously, you know, similar reasoning. They're also good orthodox sort. We might want to accept their culture. So it's a pretty big one. It's pretty close to our capital. I think I'd still rather try and cultural convert the area. Oh, and uh, the results of that poll are in. The uh, poll I did on whether or not we should get rid of the uh, anti-blobbing events. And the results were overwhelmingly positive. I think 75% of those that voted voted in favour of getting rid of the uh, anti-blobbing events. So I think I probably will do that. Uh, I haven't yet. As you might have noticed from my O, oh, I just remembered. <laughs> you, I mean, you really think it's wise to walk next to me? It doesn't seem wise. We've got these well-drilled armies. The superior attack and all that good stuff. What idea groups did we take so far in this one? Bureaucracy and culture. It seems sensible. A while before we can get another one. Ooh, that's interesting. See, that's one of the disadvantages of rivaling Hungary. War dynamism? No war dynamism. Shame. No matter, though. E, there we go. Court level's already ticked back up. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's powering up now. Now we put this extra funding into it. We must remember that our income is not going to stay this. We're getting stupid amounts of money from the Mamluks right now. Although, honestly, like, I think we might not conquer this land for a long time and just repeatedly go to war with the Mamluks and make them give us money. Usually when I do that, Tunisia ends up conquering this area, but Tunisia is getting uh, pretty done in by Fez and Aragon right now, so maybe that won't be an issue. But yeah, so because we've rivaled Hungary, Hungary is very willing to lend out uh, Kodatiari to our enemies, which is a bit of a problem, but we'll manage. In terms of what I actually want to take in this war, it's probably just... Well, I mean, it's Imperial Reconquest, so we can take stupid amounts. Look at that. That would be 70 aggressive expansion, but Town of Kosovo and Moldovia, not a problem. If you're not familiar, aggressive expansion counts substantially less against people of different, or, or possibly more. I'm not sure which way around it is. It either counts more against people of your religion, or less against people of other religions. That doesn't make much sense. Sorry, that sounds like the same thing, but it isn't. So if you took 10 aggressive expansion, I don't know if you take 20 with the same person's religion, or like 5 with someone who's a different religion. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, uh, we might do something like this, and just take the whole region. There would be a fair amount of overextension. What does 42 overextension give? Can I see easily? I don't think I can. I don't think I can just see what X amount of extension does. Oh, need a core here. Although, we are going towards expansion capacity. So, let's not core until we get that. Min-max a little bit here. Looks like we're actually going to lose this. France is no longer supporting us. Hungary, your tech is pretty bad. They're one level behind. Was level, uh, was level 12 important? More combat width, that's good. I think the... Oh, there was more morale too. I think the, per the person who has the best morale, sorry, the best combat width, applies to the whole battle, though. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, let's have... Uh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't attach this army. So I want you to keep that siege going. Do, do, 
do 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 Pulse of intolerance has expired. Do I want to re-up that? I think I do. Move more towards fanaticism is nice. Getting some uh, piety. Yeah, so I was saying earlier, uh, I don't think I finished my thought. Uh, I'm looking forward to being intolerant in this campaign compared to the pressure campaign because the inability to actually convert people is, is quite frustrating sometimes. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes, you guys. If you would all come be supportive, please. Carissa obviously going to struggle to get over here, but that's just the nature of the game. Don't we have that mission? No, Trevor's on this mission right now. Can we improve with them up to a 200? We could. Sorry, 100. Keep improving with Moria as well. Nah, it's fine. Let's, let's try and get this mission done, get some free diplo points. If they siege down this area, it doesn't bother me too much. It's a relatively autonomous region over here. Well, actually, it's actually not. It's impressive communication time. I guess our port here is helping out. Once we finish this one, we'll go over. So yeah, if you guys would all attach to this army, please. Once we win this siege, we'll go and see what we can do. Should we have started this siege? It was so we could keep hold of this province. That's why I actually begun this siege, but I think probably not worth it. Hungary might just be supporting them because they... Uh, they have mutual interests in Wallachia. They actually don't. Hungary has no interest in Wallachia. That's interesting. Hmm. We could use more soldiers. Nice. We could indeed. That pays for that general we got earlier. Let's stop this siege. I think we want to uh, go and deal with these guys. They are going to win that siege, unfortunately. But we sh should be able to get over there before they can do much more damage. Naive relative. I don't care one little bit about my siege defense. And, you know, they're backing off again. Hmm. We can deal with these guys, though. Yeah, don't care at all about my spy defense. The only time that's sl even slightly relevant is late game when uh, people might slander our merchants or... I guess it's not that late game, but later, anyway. When people might slander our merchants or inside... Uh, what's it called? Agitate for liberty, I think. When they try and persuade our vassals to rebel against us. Let's slow things down. Uh, you know, it's a relatively easy war, but now Hungary's involved. You know, stuff to consider. Got them got them. Nice. And we got them split up. There goes Hungary. Heading over to the eastern front when he's needed over here. Honestly. Woods? I don't mind fighting in woods. Hmm. Drylands? Even better. Got them. Hungary refuses our merchant ac merchants access to their provinces. How dare they? We will just liberate this province. The longer it stays uh, occupied, the higher the amount of devastation will get caused. Uh, it's not called Devastation, is it? In this mod. Province Trauma, that's what I mean. I think we will just do some liberating here. Actually, I don't really care about my subjects, provinces. You can stay occupied, that's fine. Uh, we could give some of Zeta's land to Arboron, although uh, with this war goal, can we separate peace? non co belligerence for land? I think we can, as long as they're in the old Imperial borders. Nope, we can't, okay. So from you, at most, we'd get a little bit of money. In that case, let's put them at 100% occupied and besieged provinces debuff and see what we can do to just get rid of them from this war. Yep. There they go. Excuse me. Thank you. Easy. So people were discussing the relative pros and cons of the Declare of Rome Reborn thing. The one that gives us the... Uh, the CB, but also makes everyone hate us, and it's definitely a good idea. It gives us a, you know, the CB it gives us is so incredibly good, and uh, the not being able to declare outside the old imperial borders really isn't an issue, even if it was properly enforced, and it does seem like it's not properly enforced, so. It's trending down, so sure. Let's uh, spend some to get rid of it. Sieging us over here, but I think, well, we may not be able to win this and go over in time, actually. You're a siege leader? No. Do you have a cannon, though? Send the cannon in. If they re-siege some of these provinces, it's not a problem. Oh, no, actually. Okay. I guess the uh, garrison got down to 100 or less. Instant end there. Head back east. And obviously, as much of this war as possible, having a monastic town. Nice. Happening uh, 
with the sieges going on in their territory is fine, even if we lose a couple of sieges to take them back. It's devastation that's not happening in our land. Though, of course, soon to be our land, so... The fair duelist minority going on here. Still some Sunnis here as well. I think we have total religious unity in the capital, though. That's nice. Okay, wow. Three-star general, eh? Should be able to wipe him out before Hungary reinforces. And if he does come to reinforce, he's going to cancel that siege. Which he didn't. Probably wise, given the absolute decimation we were giving them just here. Let's grab the war goal again. Retake this province. Do I want to directly go and seek a fight with Hungary? It's plains. Probably a river crossing. But I can't see the Hungarian general. It's because they're not the ones leading the siege. They have a four maneuver general. Hmm. Tough to avoid river crossings then with our one and two. But if they leave, this guy doesn't have a general. So we can go in here and get him. Mm, they're coming back. Let's leave a siege. It will be fine. We have almost, what, like 1.5 times numbers? <laughs> Hungry bailed. <laughs> That's funny. Just abandoning their ally there. Not that I can talk much about the, the honor of Condottiari. Considering my history <laughs> with them. All right, but the glorious conclusion of the uh, Roman Tarnar War will take place in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.